Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. It's Monday morning, which means another staking update video. This is for week 23. And before we jump into the figures for the previous week, just to make you aware of some changes and housekeeping that's been going on, it's been a pretty turbulent week. So let me uh, go through all of those changes now. So starting at the top of the list with uh, Navcoin. Now, Nav had a nice uh, spike up in price last week. So I sold, I think, 4,000 of them and bought them back a bit cheaper. Um, now, I had 5,600 odd. I've actually cho chose only to go down to 5,000. So I've gone down to 5,000 Nav. That's um, a target that I'm going to uh, keep. So I'm going to uh, stick with 5,000 and then gradually over time as I get kind of more stakes and that accumulates I'll sell the excess when the price uh, spikes up but uh, yeah uh, what tends to happen is if you trade um, nav coins so as I said I traded 4,000 of them and then I, I bought back so we were out of uh, staking for a few days whilst that trading was going on but what tends to happen is that the coins uh, then take a little bit of time to kind of re-age so the stake in the uh, sort of for about a week or so after I do a lot of kind of trading on NAV tends to be very low. So we only received one stake. We had one orphan stake uh, as well midweek. Um, but yeah, pretty poor kind of week uh, stake for NAV. But that's the reason. So we did a bit of trading and then we've actually reduced the number a little bit. Uh, Syndicate, you can see here just down at 71 coins. This is basically masternode return. So we sold uh, over 5,000 Syndicate. It was over a week ago. I thought the price would come back down. Um, and I was going to buy in a bit cheaper and it's basically hovering a little bit under what I kind of sold out but hasn't come down enough so I think I'm probably just going to kind of like take the kind of profit on those and wait for this to kind of like accumulate again uh, Neo I've done a bit of trading also on Neo so you see so you've got another five Neo five more than last uh, week so I actually sold some Neo when it pumped up in price uh, last week and just uh, I think I sold a hundred and then uh, got back 105 for the same kind of price. So we've been out of the market with a few of those coins a little bit, still at half a, a gas. Uh, smart Cash, no changes with Smart Cash, waiting for Smart Rewards in a couple of weeks. Uh, Linda, which is in the process of rebranding to Metrics, no changes there. Or for a Pivx, Shard, or Helix. A Volcano, um, I sold a load of Volcano last week. So Volcano had. Um, it's been very turbulent. The price has been going down. So when it had a decent uh, pump up, I sold a load of Volcano last week. Um, this is just uh, payouts from the master node. So this will gradually creep up again. But I sold, um, uh, I can't remember exactly how many it was, but I think it was probably about 11,000, something like that Volcano last week. A uh, bulwark continues to accumulate. And uh, finally, Stella. So this is a new coin on the list. Now, it was um, something I wasn't really aware of. Um, I'd heard of kind of inflation in Stella, but I wasn't aware that you could uh, benefit from that. So basically, if you have Stella, Stella, you can assign the inflation kind of reward to a pool and um, gain 1%. So it's 1% a year. So I'm getting just over two Stellar a week. But I thought, you know, every little kind of helps. So I will um, continue to do that. Um, you don't need to kind of stake or anything like that. It kind of cold stakes. So it's more kind of delegated um, proof of stake, I suppose, in some ways. But you delegate your uh, your inflation rewards um, to a kind of pool and then they kind of pay out and they pay out every Tuesday. I think the payouts start at Tuesday, uh, on a Tuesday at midnight. So basically as we tick over from Monday to kind of Tuesday and I think last week I received the first uh, payout. Um, I think it came through about four in the morning um, uh, GMT or UTC, whichever you uh, kind of prefer. So yeah, we should be getting a few Stellar each week. Now Stellar is one of the coins that I'm hoping to accumulate more of. So we should hopefully um, start getting a few more Stellars as the weeks go on. But let's take a look at the figures for last week. So just two nav worth 41 cents, nothing for Syndicate. Um, as I've explained uh, before, uh, 0.505 uh, Neo gas worth $1.54, nothing for smart uh, cash. Uh, Linda, 3,214. Uh, Linda worth $1.99. Uh, two Pivx, so one stake for Pivx last week worth $1.34. Uh, 5.42 Shard worth 16 cents. 198 Helix worth 41 cents. 142 Volcano worth 39 cents. Uh, nothing for Ball this week. And uh, finally, Stella, 2.26 Stella worth 28 cents. So it's a grand total this week of $6.52. If we jump over to the graph, you can see 
massively down on the last uh, few weeks. We have had a couple of really good weeks of Navcoin stake, and I think it will um, jump back up a little bit this next week as the coins have aged a little bit. It won't be quite as high as maybe before because we have sold probably, um, what is it, about 10%, 10%, 12% of the kind of coins we had. But even at the 5,000 mark, we should be getting regular weekly uh, stakes. But yeah, really uh, quite a poor week kind of across the board. A mixture of... Um, trading kind of coins which takes them out of the kind of staking market and then you have to kind of age them also i've got rid of a load of coins so nothing for volcano and a few others we've got nothing for syndicate now down to just a handful of kind of coins same for volcano um so that will impact obviously our staking going forward hopefully um we've got stuff like stella i'm hoping to accumulate a lot more stella uh, this year so that should increase it's only one percent inflation but um you know every extra coin is hopefully valuable in the long term anyway that's it for uh this week um let me know your kind of kind of thoughts obviously it's been a pretty uh, tumultuous kind of couple of weeks i've sold off a lot of some of these kind of smaller kind of cap coins as they've kind of spiked up in price some of them um i've intended to buy back so syndicate i was going to buy back and i may continue to do that if it kind of um drops down to a level where I'm hoping it will do. I might buy a chunk back, take some kind of profits from that. Um, but I'm happy also with, with some coins like Volcano. If it's a coin where, you know, I'm I'm slightly dubious about the kind of long-term potential, when it does uh, spike up in price, I'm happy to take some kind of profits from those. I've still got my Volcano uh, mask node, I think it's 50,000 coins, and I'll continue to stake the rewards from that. And then just take the kind of profits from time to time as the price uh, spikes up. But anyway, that's it for this week. Thanks very much for watching. As always, if you can give me a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic. It really helps the Google alg algorithm or the YouTube algorithm um, help other people find the video. So that'd be fantastic. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.